Hello and welcome back to the Western Front in the Great Patriotic War. Gary Grigsby's War in the East. Um, if this is the first one you're watching, uh, you don't you didn't miss too much. The war is going about how well it went for the real Soviets, and we've gotten pushed back. Uh, the Minsk pocket is all but dead. Uh, and we lost 281,000 men last turn, as well as uh, 40, almost 4,500 pieces of artillery equipment, 2,000 armored fighting vehicles, and almost 100 planes. What we're doing right now is the air war portion of the turn, and our main goal is to interdict some of these enemy panzer divisions. Now, I swear to God that this guy last time had been revealed as what, what unit he was. So we have less intel on them than we did last time, but, but that's okay. So I think our best bet here is to keep things simple. We are going to pick... Um, so when you're you're doing the manual air war, basically to create an air directive, which is a command, you click on your AOG, uh, air operational group, and in this case we want to click our highest level one because we just want to select all the planes here. There ain't that many, so it, it it's not a huge huge amount that we're going to be using. We want to click not ground support, but ground attack. Because what we're going to be doing is focusing on attacking a particular hex. Um, in this case, it's probably going to be... Uh, I really wish I remember which, which guy was which here. It would be really nice. But let's think about it more from a strategic perspective. What is the most dangerous thing to us uh, as a plane is is probably the flak. So let's see if we have any intel on flak. We do. So we know that this, this unit is actually the strongest of all of these units in terms of flak. Which also implies that he's the strongest unit flat out. Um, so he's probably going to be our target. And yes, we're going to have planes shot down, but that's just life in the big city sometimes. Uh, yeah, so they, they stuck a ton of, a ton of flak on this guy. We're going to lose some serious planes. So this is our our top priority is interdiction. They're taking a a pretty safe plane route. And what we want is this to just run every day, I think. Because we really want to slow these guys down if we can. I'm actually... I'm considering... Okay, so maybe we'll do the first three days of the week with this. Confirm. Yes. And then... For the next three days, we will... Um, do another ground attack on this hex so these two days here again target priorities interdict make sure that's nice and high 
confirm. And we'll do another ground attack on this guy on just day six and seven. And again, interdict on high, confirm. And we'll see, see what that does. Okay, so that's that sorted out. Next, we will take a look at the Western Air Command. And I think here we've got a couple of options. We've got, so, we've got this unit here. Not sure what he is. We've got this guy here. I mean, we we can assume that a lot of these guys are are pretty strong, but I'm actually considering doing this motorized division as one of our targets. So we again, you click on the the ground attack or or select F three. Um, set this as the target, and um, maybe we'll just go a couple of days on that, do kind of a medium intensity thing on him. We will also hit... See, I wish we had a little bit more intel here. Uh, that's that's one of the things that makes this turn a little bit more difficult than last turn. Last turn, we had really great intel on exactly what we wanted to try to stop. This turn, not so much because we retreated much further. But let's hit this guy too. And we'll just hit him on days three, four... And then, hmm. then I guess on the rest of the week, we'll try hitting this guy. I'm not sure exactly what he is. We'll see what that does. What else could we hit? A little bit of flack on that guy. Nothing major. Kind of want to hit him anyways. So I want to stage him from there. this plane group too. That's one of the problems in this, this vicinity is there's not a lot of good airports nearby. So it's hard to get air, air support into here. Uh, 
Okay, so these guys are transferring already. Well, we'll see how that goes. It might cause us to lose more planes than necessary, but I don't know. Still kind of learning that that whole name of the game thing. So now our next air group that we want to do is Southwestern Air Command. And this is this is the big one. We've got a lot of missions for them to fly. Um, okay, so we've got good coverage on the divisions we want to hit. The 11th Panzer and the 16th Panzer. Those are the two main targets. Now we know the 16th Panzer is at least a little bit more worn out. So that's probably one of our first targets here. I'm a little interested to see how much flak he has. Two. So they both have two. This guy's zero. Oh, that's because he's a separate separate division. Separate brigade. Okay, so we'll do this. High intensity. For half the week. Confirm. And we'll do another mission. High intensity for the rest of the week. Confirm. And, and that's frankly all we can do down there. Okay. Southern Air Command, let's see what we got for you. Let's see. Do we have anyone in range? That's the question. Let's see. A little bit, not much. See, I was hoping to be able to hit some of these things down there, but they're all based in the really far south. So that's that's okay. What we can do is try to hit one of these infantry divisions, maybe. I don't know. Let's hit this Romanian tank division. What the fuck? Why did it decide to go over there? Excuse me? Thank you? <laughs> Do that the majority of the week. We'll set them to high. And then uh, we'll, we'll also attack this. This guy here. And why are they?
There we go. We'll stage a little bit further away. But it's a little bit safer to do it this way because now, now we're not flying over flak. Okay, that looks good. All right, now let's do a little bit of administration stuff. We will just check to see. Well, first let's check to see what's in our reserves. If there's anything we can bring up to the north, especially, that would be very good. Let's see what we have. Doesn't look like much. I'm not seeing any bright green. Do have some IL twos I could bring forward. <clears throat> Those would make a big difference. Maybe we'll save those for next turn, though. We'll just let things continue to build up. One thing we could check out is our production production screen here. Get an idea of what planes are actually being built. So we're still building MiG threes. We're building some Yak ones, Yag threes, Lag threes, <laughs> Yag threes. Might as well be Yag 3s. Those things suck. It's a terrible plane. Especially compared to the BF 109, which they're fighting against. IL 2 airframe. What's the difference between an IL 2 and an IL 2 airframe? I guess they gotta build the airframe first. And pool, I assume that means the stockpile, I think. I like to look at these charts too sometimes just to get an idea of um, especially these two here. So the the supply used versus the supply needed. So obviously those are not equal this turn so that means we're still short on supplies. But not as short. We got better. Um, so, I mean, fuel never becomes really an issue, I don't think, for the Soviets. It's an issue for the Germans, but not for the Soviets. So anyways, we got an idea. We're pretty much making MiG-3s, LAG-3s, and some, some IL-2s. And then the production on everything else is pretty small. Looks like the MiG production is going to be the best out of all of them. So this 
this bad boy here is going to be our our main plane, I guess. And it's I guess it's not really a bad plane, but the problem is we lost almost six thousand planes without really firing a shot. So I'll take anything. I don't care if it's a, you know, balsa wood airframe. Uh, anything is anything you could stick a gun on and drop bombs on people. I will take it. All right. I think that's all, all we're going to do right now. So let's turn the turn here. And we'll see how effective our our planes do. Our planes are. Lost some planes to flak so far. More than last turn. But we know we're fl flying into... We're flying more missions this time. But we're flying missions this turn because we have got no bloody choice. If we don't fly missions, they're just going to steamroll us. And frankly, these planes, if you don't use them, you're going to lose them no matter what. If you don't fight. But damn, we lost a lot in the north. They're almost out. Oof. I just hope this has the results we want. I knew it was going to cost us. Wow. Lost 207 aircraft, damaged 185. We didn't kill a single enemy plane. So let's see which of our missions were least successful here. It looks like this one was the worst. So let's let's take a look at what actually happens there. And then we'll call it a night. So we hit them six times, which is great. No interdiction. Why it says zero? I don't get that. I guess it's not giving us any recon info. Okay, plus two. Plus zero. I don't really understand why these are not giving us any info. I guess we just don't we don't know what we did. 
I don't know if it did anything. I mean, I hope to God it did something. So that one give us a plus one, plus zero, zero, plus one. At least it, maybe it did something. Let's see what this guy did. Plus one, plus two, plus one, plus one. I mean, these are all about what I expected, I guess. You don't get huge values if they have air defense, unfortunately. But we did do a little bit of damage here and there. I'd say this one is the most successful. We don't even know what division that is, but it, it did a decent job. So I'm, uh, overall, I'm happy with the plane's performance. 14 missions, wow. This guy ain't going nowhere. He's got a lot of interdiction points. But we lost a lot of planes, too. All right. Let's see in the south what we managed to do. So we, dropped, we did eight missions on him, six missions on him, six missions on him. Okay, this is great. This is really good. This division is now heavily interdicted. Yeah, that's great. So we lo we lost planes, but the value of the interdiction is is really worth it in this case. And then our southern front didn't do do too much, but we'll check out their missions too. It looks like they did somewhat pretty good. I mean, can't complain with these results. All I'm looking at is this air interdict value, and that's that's awesome. Probably what I need to do is to switch off the ground attack, the ground bombing. This doesn't seem to do jack shit. But the air interdiction effect of just slowing them down, I think that's worth its weight in gold, to be honest, for, for our purposes. Target area was observed. Interesting. So they ran a recon mission on that. Very interesting. I don't know what kind of effect that has on our troops, but I bet, I'm betting it ain't good. All right. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. Uh, we did click through some of the battles and stuff, um, as well as looking at the results of the air war. Um, this was scouted, too. It's interesting that they used that kind of stuff. They would have lost planes because of that. Yeah, they lost a, a valuable recon plane. I don't know if I would bother with that. They know where I am, right? I don't know what the hell they're doing. Bloody Nazis. Crazy. I do want to see one more thing before we turn the turn, or before we call it for the night, rather. But on the current turn, they've actually lost more than they've more than they've ever lost. I don't I don't think we've ever done this good so that's something to be proud of I mean I'll, it'll be interesting to see our losses now that the Minsk pocket is gone because most of these like I wish you could filter losses by by um 
I front. If you look at their losses, in terms of plane losses, almost everything ends up being operational losses. And it's really just them flying themselves out of existence, which is what happens historically. Um, it, it's not us shooting them down, them down that's for sure. But um, our main problem is we lost... 3,700 planes on the ground before anything even happened. Like, if you compare our operational and uh, flak losses to theirs, they're right in line with each other. It's not like it's not like ours are completely out of whack. And we've actually been flying some more intense um, interdiction missions than they have because they don't. They simply don't need to. <laughs> At this point, their air war is just over. They don't need to do it too much more. They already won. Which, and one of, and I think that's one of the things that makes the Soviets more fun to play. Is there's, you have to fight a lot more early on with your, your planes. Let's call this the ground one. Just in case we wuss out and want to save scum for some reason, which uh, I would never do that, to be honest. I just, unless I lose the war because of one turn's stupid mistake, in which case I would just restart. Um, I would never even think about reloading a save. The only reason we make backups at all, the only reason I make backups at all is because if the game crashes or the save gets corrupted, at least you have a, another save to go back to. All right, well, that's it from here. Um, next time, we'll take on the ground war. Have a good night.